Good morning YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing my first ride, first impressions of the Biltwell Lane Splitter. This video is of course being produced in partnership with Get Lowered Cycles, your one-stop shop for everything Harley and Harley related. They've got an excellent uh, selection of riding gear, helmets, jackets, gloves, as well as a bunch of hard parts for most Harley Davidson models. So I'm gonna be a little bit transparent with you guys. This is not my first ride with this, this helmet. This is technically my second. I did a video on my first ride, ended up having audio issues due to a failed mic adapter, nothing to do with the helmet, completely uh, outside of that, but uh, lost all my audio from that episode. So I'm out here re-recording that episode. But I'll be sure to touch on all the points I went over in the first time, and if anything, this is a better review because you are uh, getting more of a, a detailed response because I've had it for a little bit longer. Also, I, uh, I literally just caught air on this bike and I'm pretty sure I blew a fork seal. <laughs> I can smell that, uh, that fork oil. Oh, uh, well. All right, anyways, back to the helmet. So the Biltwell Lane Splitter comes in a variety of colors. They also have a, uh, a special edition Rusty Butcher. Is, is someone gonna go, please? Thank you. They also have a uh, special edition Rusty Butcher, which is kind of like a two-tone. Uh, the standard colors start at around $250, and I believe the Rusty Butcher is $275, $280, around there. Uh, but there's nothing special about the Rusty Butcher besides the coloring. As far as uh, features go, there's there's not many. <laughs> the uh, Lane Splitter is definitely a bare bone style helmet. Uh, it doesn't have any fancy gadgets or anything like that. Uh, it features three vents up in the front. I know it's kind of hard to see because of my camera. The two vents on the side and it also has one in the back that kind of pulls air out of the helmet it does also come standard with a chin skirt i have removed mine because uh with my beard and everything i really just don't like chin skirts makes it very hard for me to uh to put on my helmet and everything like that so i took it off it's held on by uh, just velcro so it's able to, to pop off and on very easily so uh, you don't have to cut it out or anything like that this helmet is of course dot rated it's also ece rated so it's pretty much going to cover all of your standard safety requirements and then it also does have a lockable visor. Uh, it clips onto a little snap button right here that kind of clips over it. Uh, I will say that this is my biggest gripe about this helmet is the visor. So I'm going 48 right now. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't want to stay up. If you pull it all the way up, it stays up until you hit about 65, 70. But as far as like it being cracked, I mean right there at the lowest one it kind of stays, but it's shaking a lot and kind of messing up your vision. And then also, after you clip it, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but there's still a gap on this, uh, this right side, so you kind of have to, to push down on the visor. Uh, basically the, the detents are just very weak on the visor. Uh, the visors do come in a variety of colors. You've got uh, rainbow chrome, chrome silver, chrome gold, or mirror gold, mirror silver, mirror chrome, something like that. Then you also have your dark smoke and yellow. And I think they also have a red to clear fade or something like that. They got a good good amount of options. This one is the uh, mirror chrome. This is not the stock uh, visor. It comes with a clear visor, uh, but they do have the anti-fog options. So that's very beneficial. Moving on to uh, comfort, uh, this helmet is actually very, very comfortable. I was pleasantly surprised by how comfortable it was actually. Uh, it's got very soft inner lining on the cheek pads. Uh, they are a little stiff at first, but that's that's to be expected from pretty much any helmet. You have to break in helmets. But uh, even with it not being broken in, it's not pinching my cheeks or pinching my jaw as much as my AGV does. Also, the inner linings, the cheek pads and the top pads also are very easy to remove so if you want to if you need to wash them if you live in a, a hotter area such as myself you do need to wash those things every now and then or they will get pretty ripe uh, very easy to pop in and out uh, it's just three pieces left cheek pad right cheek pad and then the top is entirely one piece and uh, how easy those are to remove actually brings me to my next point and that is uh, Cena installation so in case you're not familiar Cena is a Bluetooth communicator kit it does have uh, speakers that you place inside the helmet 
and wire it up through there. This is the, the sixth Cena I've installed and this is by far the easiest one I've ever had to do. The, the exterior lining is very thin and has a good gap in between that and the uh, styrofoam shell on the inside. So it's very easy to clamp onto the shell uh, with those pads being so easy to remove. It's also extremely easy to, uh, to take those out, wire it up. It's got nice deep speaker pockets so you don't have anything, you know, poking into your ears or anything like that. Everything about it is just extremely Cena friendly. And then one of the last things I want to touch on was noise. Now, I rate helmets kind of on two separate categories, and that's wind noise as well as exterior noise, road noise, engine noise, things like that. On the wind noise category, this helmet scores very high. High as in there's not a lot of wind noise. Now, I know my helmet's going to be generating a lot more because of the, the accessories and stuff I have on it. And even with that, the wind noise is less than what it is on my AGV. Uh, this helmet is designed aerodynamically for a cruiser position. So it's going to be uh, good on the highways, good on those upper, good on those bikes that have more of an upright seating position. But on the wind, on the exterior noise category, the engine noise, things like that, it scores kind of low. I wouldn't give it a, a failing score, but I would say maybe like a 75. Just because I do hear a lot of the motor, I do hear a lot of the exhaust. But for some people, a lot of people like that. A lot of people like being able to hear their bike. A lot of people don't like wearing headphones or having speakers in their helmets specifically for that reason. So if you're one of those people, that might be a good selling point in this helmet because I can hear my bike just fine when I'm wearing this helmet. But uh, before I give my final review, we're going to go ahead and hop on the interstate and test it out there. So let's cut to that. All right, so here we are at the interstate. We are at uh, 50 miles an hour. We do have quite a bit of traffic, so I will try to get over to the fast lane to try to get us up to at least 70. But uh, I'm doing this on my lunch break, so traffic is a little bit heavy, but uh, hopefully we get lucky here. All right, so we got it up to 65. I don't think we're gonna be getting much faster than that, but the highway in this helmet is actually a pleasant experience. Of course, I am having to talk a little bit louder, but uh, I do that with every single helmet on the interstate just because of the wind noise and the engine noise and the other noise with the cars around you. But aerodynamically, this helmet performs extremely well on the interstate. My head is not getting thrown around, bounced around side to side like it was on some of my previous helmets. And that's even with the added stuff like the camera and the battery pack and the scene and everything like that picking up the extra wind. Long story short, this helmet passes the highway test. All right, so to wrap up this review, uh, this helmet is actually a great deal for the money. $250 is a steal, actually. This helmet has a lot of qualities of uh, a lot higher priced helmets. Just the comfort and weight alone. I don't know if I touched on the weight, but this thing is extremely light. Uh, it's also high profile, so can tilt your head back and forth, look over your shoulders left and right, and you're not catching anything. Uh, gives you a lot of freedom in your neck, looking down, looking up. It's, it's, uh, it, you almost forget that it's there, to be honest. It's that comfortable, that light. Also, if you're watching this review close to the time it's coming out, I'm actually giving away one of these helmets during my monthly giveaways. Uh, I do this every single month for my Patreons. Uh, this month, we're giving away a helmet. Next month, who knows? Pretty much every money I get in the Patreon goes back to the Patreon. So you can join at any tier and you get entry into the monthly giveaways. And uh, the higher the tier, the more entries you get. But if you do not want to uh, wait for that or risk your chances, take that gamble, you can head over to GetLower.com right now. They've got a ton of sizes, a ton of colors in stock, ready to ship to your door. If you, uh, if you have any questions specific about this helmet, please leave them down in the comment section below. I check my comments at least one a day, once a day. We can answer them as soon as possible. Other than that, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It does do a ton for the channel. And if you're new here, please go ahead and punch that subscribe button. I do put out at least three videos a week, every single week. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.